Hey Darius, it's Rock here, working on my swim. It's real cold and windy, real strong right to left wind. Uh, working on my trigger compression move. The big adjustment that I f found today is uh, just getting my hips to open a little bit more before I start the trigger compression. That seems to simplify things. So when I get up to the ball and I'm settling in, I'm moving, you know, up and down, side to side, feel my center mass. But I'm getting, I'm getting the hips set in an open position. And what I find is when I do that, I, all the forces that I kind of built up in my body and inner part of my legs, I can keep them that way with my hips a little bit open at a dress. And then when I do the trigger compression, my left hip moves up and back, but it's not a huge movement. And then as I recoil backhand, it feels like I can maintain all the forces that I built up in, in the setup. So let me show you what it looks like. So I'm moving my feet back and forth, establishing the center mass of my body, getting my hips into an open position. And then once I feel all set up, but I, anytime I feel like it, I'm ready to just do the trigger compression and go. So. so that's kind of what it's looking like. So from behind, I uh, know you like that view. So from behind, I'm setting up, going back and forth, up and down, establishing this center mass, which is my belly button area right on the other side of my body. I feel like the uh, inside edge of my legs here are uh, solid. I keep moving and get my hips into an open position. And then I do the trigger compression, get the hip to go this way, like that. And then when I recoil, I build a nice solid right side. Everything's the same as before. Get that right hip to go back a little bit lateral to relieve the sheer forces in my right leg and then when I get to here you know I plant I plant the left foot start down and I get into finished position to follow through so at full speed what it looks like setting up get the hip open and then trigger compression and go it again. Try it again. So I showed you some back views. Hopefully you can see that. I kind of wanted to see how I train the move to uh, do it. So I do it in slow motion, different speeds, 25, 50, 100. Do it without the golf ball. So I can get the feel of it. It's a very dynamic motion. I feel real solid on the ground. So uh, thanks for uh, all your advice, buddy. Let me know what you think. See ya.